Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw an anime character. So the tools you need, things you need are going to be um, a pencil and an eraser if you need one and a um, ruler for doing the lines correctly. So let's get into the video. So first let's start with the hairline. And do another hairline. Now let's do the face. So now you have to do a curve. And do the same thing to the other side. And so now we're going to do the eyes. And let's first do the ears. Now let's do the eyes. So first I'm going to draw a circle. And draw the highlights. And just color the circle in. And don't color the highlights part in. Now let's draw another circle and do the same thing that we did to the right side. Do the uh, highlights, color it in. And now let's draw the eyelashes. So just doing a bit darker and now let's do the eyelashes. Same thing to the other side. You can just follow my art by pausing the video because I might go a bit too quick. Now the eyebrows. Now let's draw the nose. So for the nose you just have to put a like a line. So that's what anime looks like, I say. Now the smile. And for the cheeks you can do three lines, three small lines. You always see those in the anime kind of style drawing. Now let's get back to the hair and draw another curve and another small curve. Now let's do the neck. The neck part is the main part. You had to get it um, in the line correctly. The clothes where the neck is going to be. The shoulders. You can use a ruler for this if you want, but I'm just um, doing it um, like with my, just my pencil. I'm not using a ruler. Now let's do the teddy bear. You can add something else to the teddy bear if you want, but I'm just adding a teddy bear. You can add ice cream, any kind of style you want. This kind of looks like a koala, but it doesn't look like a teddy bear. Now let's do the hand part. For the hand I'm doing like a saying hi. Like saying hello. You can just do it normally if you want. And like, you know. Now let's do the left left side of the clothes. Now we're doing the skirt.
Now let's do the left side of the hand. Don't worry if you don't get per get it perfectly. That is how we practice drawing. So I'm just doing perfectly to show you guys how it would actually look like. Now I'm gonna use a ruler for the leg. like a sideway line and now let's draw the shoe part another shoe so now let's just finish off the drawing with the hair And I'm actually finished with my drawing. Um, if you want to add any details, you can just add the details. So the colors you need for the coloring part are going to be blue, dark blue an orange for the hair and an orange color pencil for the skin and a dark pink and yellow and a light pink so these are the colors you need for the coloring part so I'm gonna start off with orange basically for the hair so let's just color in the hair with orange. I'm going to do kind of like a lines. You can just color in as normally. You can use any kind of colors. So just do the lines. Just continue with lines, doing the lines. And as you do it, don't rush to your draw coloring part. Just do it slowly so you can get it perfectly. You can use any kind of color for the hair if you want. I'm just using orange because you know. Do the same thing. Now just correcting the hair. Now let's use Orla orange for the skin, but you have to do it lighter like this. Like that. And continue doing that with the drawing. You may not actually see the color, but in person, if you do it, you can see the color actually. But I'm just doing it a bit um, darker for you to see how it would actually look like.
This is a hack that you could use if you don't have a um, peach kind of skin tone color. You can use orange as light a skin tone. You can add any um, pictures to her, like for her costume, her clothes. Cutting over legs. So let's just do the dark parts. You can do it if you want. I'm just doing it for the shadows. If you have a skin tone color, you can use it for the skin. Now I'm coloring the ears. Now let's color her shirt with yellow. Don't color in the um, teddy that you just drawn. Whatever kind of thing that you drawn on a dress. Now let's color the bear's bow. It doesn't actually look like a bear, I mean, it looks like a koala. Now let's color the skirt she's wearing. I'm going to do it in lines because, you know, it's like, it's like, um, when it dries, you might, you can't see the lines actually to say, that's what I think. Now let's do the right side of the skirt. Just carry on. You can color in any way you want. You can just like carry on coloring. You can do the same thing as me, like in lines. Now let's color the shoes with dark blue. Just doing some kind of like shoelace kind of to say. I don't know what they're called, but I'm just guessing. That's what they're called actually. It messy. <laughs> now the last part is going to, I mean the second part is going to be her cheeks. So I'm going to be using this pen, a ballpoint kind of pen. You can use any kind of like markers or crayons to do this. Or you can just leave it like that. Hmm. 
I'm using an orange color pencil to correct the cheeks. Now let's color the bear with orange marker. My pencils always get in the way. Huh. Now let's use a brown ballpoint pen. I'm just doing the outline of the teddy. Make sure not to color in the highlights. Now I'm finished with my coloring and you can check this drawing. Please make sure you like this drawing. Please make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the post notifications and leave a comment down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!